Facebook is under investigation over its handling of the data of millions of users. Paola Chirio's subversive art reveals the dangers of online surveillance. Paolo Chirio usually works in secret. The artist intends to show through his work how public our private lives are thanks to the internet. The face he's spray painting here belongs to a former head of the FBI, James Comey. Chirio found the private photos of FBI, CIA and NSA members on social media. So I pasted their pictures all over the cities, in Paris, in Berlin, in New York, in London. And so in this case, um, you know, I talk about um, the accountability of uh, these uh, powerful people that actually, uh, you know, they're, um, they're like surveilling us. The Italian has lived and worked in New York for almost 10 years. He develops his ideas in his studio on Manhattan's Lower East Side. Cheerio searches for the pitfalls of the digital world. A brave new world where the big internet multinationals collect our every click on the net to turn them into money and to make us all more transparent, whether we want it or not. With the internet, there are like different situations that are way more uh, powerful and they're also, they're also like way more um, personal in a way, uh, so that affect you very directly. First, because they can target you. Uh, these companies, uh, Facebook, for instance, or Twitter, or any other company can really target you as you individual, so they know you more than yourself. Google Street View pixelates everyone's face with the aim of making them unrecognizable. Even so, many can be identified. For his Street Ghosts campaign, Paolo Cirio printed full-size images of people from Google Street View and placed them exactly where they were photographed. The reaction? Outrage. Here I question what is public and what is private. These notions are very blurred today and we are all kind of like confused. And in this confusion, in this gray area though, there are big companies as Facebook, as Google and so on, that take advantage and they become monopolies uh, by basically, uh, you know, taking all the information that we uh, share or we don't care about and they start to commercialize it. It's impossible to escape the internet and the vast power of the digital world. But we should be more aware of where the risks lie and of how we handle our own data. We need rules that apply worldwide. And that means thinking beyond national borders. I think it is the internet that is like uh, breaking boundaries and borders and that's why we live in a more go globalized uh, world uh, and that is kind of good you know I think I am not against it and uh, I think also the end of nation can be an opportunity to some degree. But for now Paolo Cirio has made it his mission to warn us about the dangers of the digital world.